Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Signs like this one appeared on state buildings on the last day of June 1992, and as the clock ran out at midnight June 30th, lawmakers still working jokingly turned off the lights, but the state was officially without a budget. I don't think the governor agrees with this program. Kurt Kaiser was a key negotiator at meetings during the wee hours of the morning. Your advice to this legislature is July 1st gets closer every day. Yeah, I, they really just need to sit down and talk across the table and have some give and take. Uh, sometimes you do you do a fix for one year and come back next year and and you know things will be better. Then Governor Lawton Childs had waited until the day before a shutdown to sign two executive orders to keep state government running. State employees promised to keep coming to work without pay, but workers can come to work and expect to be paid. Today, Mark Niemeyer still represents some state workers. Are you worried that they were going to lock Back you up? Back in 1992? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I felt annoyed because, I, as I say, people kept trying to manufacture this crisis mentality. And, uh, you know, come on. The way we solve things is to work through them. Governor Rick Scott is already being criticized for sending this letter to state agency heads asking for a contingency plan if there's no budget July 1st. Scott is being accused of feeding into a crisis mentality by sending the letter so early and for taking a shot at the state Senate, which could make compromise difficult. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda. Yeah.